you get a big old leech. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am out with Mr. Fluff Butt McGee and we're in the woods looking to spend the night out here, well two nights, and uh, build up a nice shelter. Now it's a nice beautiful forest and a beautiful day. It's about the perfect temperature out, it's just, it's cold, it's not too cold but it's cold where you can hike and not get too sweaty and uh, it's going to be a, we're going to have a fun time. Hopefully. This is kind of a more pine forest and there's um, some cedar, there's a cedar swamp hopefully this way a ways that uh, we'll have some nice lighter wood to work with so we can build a nice shelter. Um, as you can see I've got this big bag with me, now there's a reason for that and mostly, the, mainly the reason is one time I, I brought out a couple beers and uh, I popped them and leaked them all in my bag. And I just wanted to be safe this time, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna put them in a bag. Then I was like, all right, I'll put my food in there. Uh, you know, I'll put this in there, blah, blah, And I ended up just having a whole bag, and this thing's not packed super heavy or tight. This has got all my weights right here with the food bag and everything. Now, I could have brought out a sled, which is what I normally do, but this is a really thick, as you can see, there's crap everywhere, and the snow's not super deep yet. So, I didn't want to bring out a sled and just have to deal with pulling it left and right, so I just carried the food in, it's fine. It'll be, this thing will weigh nothing on the way out. It's got all my water and everything. Monty's got his orange vest. And as you can see, he's got some booties. Now they're guaranteed not to fall off, but they've already fallen off once, so we'll see. We'll see how they go. Right, Monty? Right, Monty? So uh, we've got to hike a ways more in. We gotta look for a nice spot. This is a pretty nice spot here, but I'd like to go in a little further. Um, you know, get a little bit further in. So we will see, but let's get to it, Monty. Come on, let's go. Hooey! Ah, oh, I am sweating. This thing's heavy. So, um, I want to find a really nice spot today. This is actually a really good spot right here. It's pretty open and flat, but there's not the best trees to set up a nice shelter right here. So what I'm gonna do is take off my pack here, and we're gonna walk around for like 20 minutes, because I got like a good good early start today. And uh, I've been, I've been go, go, go since it was dark, like at 5, 5.30 this morning. I think I just got up, finished packing up, Got ready, got on the road as soon as I could. Got out here, started hiking in. So we'll have plenty of, we should have plenty of time to get what I want accomplished today. And if we don't, you know, finish everything up today, we'll finish up tomorrow. So we are gonna take a minute here and find a nice spot. It's kind of hilly here. Oh yeah, there's a dead tree. I don't want that near me. Nope, not gonna work. But yeah, I want a nice spot. So that's what we're gonna do, Monty. Let's find the perfect spot. Come on, come on, buddy. This thing is the definition of a widow maker. Oh man, look at that thing, it's just dead. It's all rotted out. I don't even feel comfortable standing next to this thing. Let's get out of here, Monty. Whoo! Oh, well, that was a lot of fun. Oh man, am I sweating. I am sweating. I am warm. Warm, warm, warm. Needless to say, that took a little bit longer than 20 minutes. Oh, I need to take this off for a minute. We need to drink some water. So I ended up, you know, I said uh, 20 minutes. 
ended up hiking around for an hour and a half here. <laughs> oh. Oh, just, just air this out. Oh yeah. Okay, so these are our trees, and this is the spot. This is just some dead lower branches. So I found like four or five spots, but I was doing this thing that I, I like to do sometimes where I just have a spot indecisiveness. And I'd find a decent spot, and I'd find a little flaw with it, and I'd move on, then I'd keep going, then I'd go further, then I'd go farther, find another spot. And yeah, I just, uh, a couple of them had a bunch of these little trees. I didn't want to kill a bunch of trees. One was down in the cedar swamp. And then I just saw this spot and I was like, all right, perfect. It's got flat over here. Just got some dead logs flat over here. There's just this pine tree here with some branches. That's nothing to worry about. There's no dead big trees that are going to fall on me. So this is the spot. We're going to make up a sweet camp here. There's a cedar swamp down this hill over here. It's a pretty steep hill, but there's tons of dead stuff down there. And there's dead pine and everything. So I'm going to take a drink of water here. We're going to get some water from Monty. Um, first off, those booties suck. They did not work. They stayed on for a while, but they kept coming off. And then I was tightening them up really good. And then I noticed him walking funny. And I walked over and the, his, he's got front dew claws. And his dew claws pulled out and pushed back in. So he was walking, yanking on that dew claw. So I set it back up again. It did it again. So I am not putting those boots on him while he's walking around. If it rips out his dew claw or something, that'd be a serious injury and that's not good. So no booties for Monty that still work. These are expensive. They are being returned as soon as we get home. Um, maybe I'll put them back on him when he's just chilling around. It might help keep his feet dry or warm, whatever. It, it'll make him sweat a little bit, but either way, we're gonna sip on some water and then the first thing we're going to do is get a ridge pole and then we're gonna collect a ton of dead straight stuff and start building. So let's get to it, Monty. Oh! Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Okay, Monty, you thirsty? You thirsty, buddy? You hungry? You want some food? You little turd nugget? There you go. Monty has food and beverage offered to him. Let's see, let's take off some of these. So the first thing we've got to do is find a ridge pole. So let's get a nice solid ridge pole. We don't need anything too insane though, because I am going to pretty much be using all cedar and pine for my logs laying on top because they're very light and easy to cut through and it won't, it won't make a lot of weight and crack the ridge poles easily. If I use all maple like I did on my first lean to, might have more of an issue, but we'll find something nice. Let's do it, Monty. Come on. All right. We've got a wonderful specimen of a dead tree. Make a perfect ridge pole here. Nice and solid. I want to get this guy. Oh. <laughs> got hit with a little branch. Little turd nugget solid. There we go. Now I just need to cut off a nice section. Now we just need to ensure that this is long enough, or else I will be in trouble and have to find another nice ridge pole. That looks pretty good. Be on the safe side, let's go right here though. Just to be safe.
Oh man. That is solid. That there is no check mark. There's no punkiness to it. This is solid wood right there. I'm gonna take back both pieces here. Have some perfect firewood for later. Oh no. 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 Oh. Oh. We got so lucky. <laughs> the tree slanted a little bit. It's perfect. <laughs> so much for taking the cautious side, hey? Oh, got lucky there. Just gonna saw off this. We'll just chop off this end piece here. Yeah, Monty, don't you worry. You don't have to worry yourself with things like this. You just eat your food, relax, chase squirrels. You know, just do dog things. Okay, let's tie this bad boy up. <gasps> okay, <laughs> so what I'm gonna be using to tie out this ridge pole today is uh, what someone pointed out is actually called the arbor knot, or commonly referred to in the bushcraft community as the Canadian jam knot. So what you do, you take your rope here, and you just tie a little, a little knot at the end, just like that, tighten it up. Then you do the exact same thing, just a four or five inches up, but you don't tighten this one, just like that. Leave it loose, and then you're just gonna wrap this all around the log here, feed it back through and it's going to act like a cinch uh, or a slip knot and you're just going to tighten it and then it'll it'll tighten like that and it'll slip all the way down to that end knot but it is, it's called the, the arbor knot that's the uh, I think that's the actual name but most people refer to it as a Canadian jam knot when you're referring to bushcraft and whatnot I think that's what I hear a lot you know that's the scuttlebutt so let's tie this thing up Monty really wants me to throw the stick for him that's what he's, he's looking at me like. So I'm not sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure it matters, but I'm not 100% sure. But um, the way I, I normally just guess it and I like, do I tie the strings around this way downwards or upwards? And it seems the best seems to be when you tie them like this, you go from like underneath the inside. And I'm pretty sure it matters. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems to slip a whole bunch more if I do it the opposite way. Let's do it that way. I'm just gonna hold it with my body. Pull on that bad boy. There we go. Now we're gonna secure this side here. Tighten up more. There we go. Tie this one off. Shouldn't really go anywhere. I'm gonna put two more in, but it should hold just fine with these two strings. But we're gonna do our good old fashioned pull up test. If I can do pull ups like this, should be able to hold up some cedar logs. All right, I'm gonna add in two more just to be extra safe and make sure it's not really going anywhere.
Okay. Okie dokie. We've got ourselves a nice solid ridge pole here, eh? So this, this pole right here, um, it's solid maple pole, and like I said, I'm gonna use all cedar. So you saw me doing pull-ups. I'm not gonna need to put a support beam on this. Now, if I was using maple, like I did on my first big old lean-to, I'd wanna definitely put a support beam right in the middle here, but I'm gonna be using cedar, and that's gonna be light. So is pine, if I get any pine. So I'm gonna try to stick to those types of woods to make it nice and not be putting much weight on here. Now, it wouldn't hurt to put a support pole under here. We'll see, we'll, maybe we'll do that tomorrow, but for today, I think we're gonna, it's gonna be just fine. We've got super solid dense wood. So, what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm going to spend an hour to an hour and a half just rounding up, taking down dead standing cedars and what I find on the ground. And I'm just gonna bring back a ton of dead straight stuff, just tons of it, so that I don't have to keep going out and getting another piece, another piece. So let's round up a bunch of dead wood. Let's do it. You ready, Monty? You getting energy now? You getting energy, buddy? That could have went bad. That could have pierced my nutsack. <laughs> that, that, would have, that would have been so bad. <laughs> oh man. Look at that, there's spikes on here too. You live and you learn. This thing's lighter than it looks. Monty, if you're not going to help out, the least you can do is come with me and give me some support or something. Come on, man. The heck, dude. Come on, Monty. Let's go. Come on. Help me out. Come on. Monty, come. Come on. Monty. Yeah, get off that big booty of yours. Help me out. Support me, at least. Little turd nugget. Little turdinator. Yeah, you, mister. You. Stinker. Do you want to go to the dog park? You want a treat?
Oh. Okay. Well, as you can see, I've got a whole pile of stuff. Monty, you having trouble getting through my pile there? Come on, you can do it. Come on, Monty. Come here. Come on. Come on, Monty. Come on, Monty. Come here, Monty. Come on, Monty. You can do it, Monty. Come on. Come on, Monty. <laughs> Monty. He couldn't do it. He had to go around. All right, so I'm going to take a little breather here. I have been... Oh, hey, buddy. Hi, Monty. Hi. Ah. Ah. Come here. Oh, yeah, that's a good boy. Come here, come here, come here. Back it up, back it up. Oh, that's a good boy. You look, he's extra fuzzy bunny today. He's an extra fluffy bunny, right? You get your winter coat. You get in your winter coat. His winter coat is coming in thick. Anyways, like I was saying, I have been working my little butt off, my little frog butt, um, collecting up all this dead stuff. I wanted at least 20 long straight pieces of dead stuff to start with. What I'm hoping, which never has been the case ever, but what I'm hoping is that this will be enough to at least do the top part and do a good chunk of the sides. And uh, if it's not, I got some extra, I got most of this is extra long, so I will be able to at least build my fire reflector or something. It should have, this is definitely gonna cover the top. It, it better. <laughs> but I mean, there's, there's so much dead stuff all everywhere. It's, I've gotten it on the ground, uh, it's dead standing, it's been pushed over. There's all sorts of stuff here. But you could see me carrying three of those at a time up here um, sometimes. It's because it's dead pine. It's very light. So this is going to do just fine. Like I, like I said, I'll say it again. It's, dead, it's all dead pine for the most part. There's some balsam in there, I think. No maple, no hardwoods. Nothing heavy and dense. It's all light, fluffy stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little breather here. I'm going to drink some water. Catch my breath a little bit because I've been go, go, go since I've got here. And... Uh, then we're gonna probably throw the stick for Monty. He uh, he caught his vest coming across this pile and following me and stuff. He, he kept getting caught and I like dragging logs and he's. I look back and he's stuck on a log. So I took it off him and he, the boots aren't working for him. So Monty, you little fuzzy bunny. He's just like, yeah, okay. Oh. You're so fluffy, Monty. You're extra fluffy in winter right now. You're extra fluffy. Okay, so breather, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna get out my ground tarp, uh, my ground sheet, and I'm gonna actually use that tonight. We're gonna flatten this out. I'm gonna lay that down, use that as a measuring device for how big I want my shelter, because I want it to be long back. I want us to both sit long ways and have some decent room in there. So yeah, relax, catch my breath. Maybe I could catch my breath faster if I stop talking so much. Uh, throw the stick for a little Monty here, and then we'll get to uh prettying up these logs here. You want this stick? You want this stick? Hey, you want this stick, you bouncy bunny? Come on, you want it? You want it, you bouncy bunny? You bouncy bunny? You bouncy bunny? <laughs> All right, let's, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Gonna get under your armpits. We're trying to get some scent. We're trying to get some scent, Monty. Get on that butt. Get on that butt. Get on that butt. All right. You want it? You want it? Oh, yeah, wait. Okay, okay. You know, it's looking, it's looking like it's getting dark. I better have at least, I should have at, at minimum two hours of daylight. Come on, Monty, bring me that stick. Bring it here. Bring it here, Monty. But it looks kind of glowy. Maybe a storm's rolling in or something. Definitely cloudier than it was earlier. That might be why it seems so dark. But uh, I definitely need to see for a little bit more. Thought I got an early start today, maybe not. Come on, Monty, bring it here. Bring it here, Monty. Bring me that stick. Bring me here, Monty. Monty, bring it here. Monty. Bring it here. Bring me that stick, boy. Bring me that stick. Bring it here, Monty. Come on. You can do it. Bring it here, Monty. He's being turd. And turd. Little stinker. Get, 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 yeah, yeah. Do you want this? Are you gonna bring it back this time? 
you bouncy turd. Oh. You want the stick? Oh, calm down. Oh, it's so heavy. Right, bring me the stick, Monty. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here, Monty. Come on. Come on, Monty. Bring it here. Bring it here, Monty. Where you gotta grab it? Come on, Monty, grab the stick. Bring it here, come on. Give me that stick. He's trying. All right, Monty. Come on. Bring me that tree. I mean, bring me that stick, Monty. Don't you fail me now. Come on. Bring me that stick, Monty. You bring me that stick. Okie dokie. First thing we gotta do is clear this off a little bit. Hey, Monty. Oh, let's hope that that's... This is firewood. Pretty good. All right. Next, I'm going to take this tarp here, ground sheet, and we're going to use this to measure what we need. So we pretty much need it that wide. And that long. That's not so bad. I might, I'll make it a little extra wide. But that's pretty good. That'll put us, yeah, we'll be just underneath. That'll be pretty good. All right, now I need the perfect log for measuring. I can even the ground out afterwards. It's a little bit higher on that side, and I'll just take my ax, kind of even it out afterwards. But that's just the start. So, now I need a nice, straight measuring stick. This will be good. This is a nice little, light little one, so this will be a good measure. Make it a little extra deep, just so we can put our feet up. Feet back there, heads up there. Let me just double check here before we do anything drastic. If I'm sleeping like that, my head's got at least a foot under here and I'll let it overhang so it's like at least a foot and a half and the winds tomorrow are gonna come from this way and it's yeah so that'll be pretty good I'll just make a little extra wall why we'll make the nice tall thing so we'll do it like that we'll make them all about yay long Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is clean up all these logs, measure them to this thing. I'm gonna clean this one up first, and then we're gonna get a big pile of ready to stack logs, stack them up, and see where we're at. Ha, 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 ha,
Well, Mr. Creature here has uh, been relaxing for a while, so it's time to bring him out maximum comfort. I'm going to continue sawing logs and blowing up my sleeping pad, doing my little multitasking. You ready for this, Monkey? You want this? You want this? You want this? <laughs> he comes running. You little, you little entitled little turd nugget. Look at him. Look at him. He's addicted. He's addicted to these sleeping pads. Little sleeping pad entitlement turd. I'll give it. I'll give it to you in a second. It's not ready yet. Good boy. Okay, I didn't do um, all of them. Uh, I got most of the straightest, longest, best pieces, but uh, that should be plenty, I think and so. So now I'm gonna knock off all the pokies, and then uh, once they're all smooth, we'll, we'll start stacking them. Okay, here we go. Nice smooth logs here. Let the stacking begin. Okay, very close, very close. Let's see here, I'm like this. Monty's right here. Oh yeah, we're good. Monty will be right here. Perfect, or right under here. All right. So we cut enough logs for the top. I don't think we got enough for the sides right now. It is getting dark. It's getting late. We got about a half hour, 45 minutes left of light. So I'm gonna have to move kind of quick here. I'm, I'm definitely gonna put a support beam here. While this is, this is plenty fine to hold this, 
because I don't think there's as much weight as when I'm doing pull-ups. Um, I'll still put a support beam. I don't know if I'll get to it tonight, but I'll definitely get one on there. It, it's definitely going to hold. These are not heavy logs by any means, but uh, I'll get one under there because I think over time, I think tomorrow I'm going to pile up tons of stuff and try to make it just like snow proof. I'll put some stuff on it tonight. It'll be pretty good, but uh, as it gets weight throughout the winter from all the snow, it'll definitely add on a lot of weight, so I'll need some support there. Bottom doesn't need to be that long. Okay. Oh, hi, Monty. Hi, Monty. Oh, this sleepy turd nugget. All right. Well. So I didn't get as far as I wanted to today. As you can see, it is not a complete shelter. Um, I do, I, I will try to return here, um, you know, until the snow gets too deep because then I won't be able to go down the two track to get here once it gets too deep. But um, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get too much further tonight because we've got, like I said, a half hour of light left and it's, it's already starting to get kind of dark. There must be some good cloud coverage, but fortunately tonight is not supposed to be crazy windy or snowy. You know, there might be some snow flurry. So what I'm going to do is I am going to kind of level this out, uh, you know, put a little snow mound. I'm going to go get a bunch of brush and stuff, just like sticks and random stuff like that. We're going to pile it on top to fill in some of the gaps. We're not going to get too elaborate. And then we didn't get to a fire reflector, but I don't need it tonight. Tonight is not the cold night. Tomorrow is a very cold night. Tomorrow is going to be down, I think it's almost going to get down to single digits. Definitely single digits with wind chill. Tomorrow is going to be cold. So, we're just going to tidy it up here before it gets too dark. I'm going to go collect some stuff, pile it on top. I'm going to do a quick walk around. I didn't see any down dead fresh pine or anything like that, so I'm going to have to collect dead stuff for now. But uh, we're going to just tidy it up here, and then we're going to start processing some firewood. And I have been going, since, like I said, since uh, 5.30 is when I got up. 5.36, right around there. Jumped in the shower, got ready. So I have been go, go, go all day. And uh, I'm going to get ready to relax here. I don't need to do too much more. As long as there's, you know, we've got pine trees above us as well. As long as we're not getting snowed on, we're fine. There's no wind. You can hear it's very still and calm. It's nice and thick in here. That's pretty much the only open spot is over there. We're pretty protected right here. So, yeah. Didn't get as far as I wanted to today. Moved a little slower than I thought. But I was moving. I was working. Anywho, we'll, we'll, make, her, we'll make her look pretty tomorrow. We'll make her look pretty. And I would like to return here. So we might leave her standing. But it's a nice deep lean-to. And it's got perfect room for me and Monty to scoot in there. Alright, Monty. You can just stay here. I'm going to go get some stuff, okay? I'm going to go out into the woods and I'm going to get some branches and stuff. You just relax, okay? Don't strain yourself. Don't strain yourself too much, Monty. Okie dokes. I've got, uh, I got, I found some green pine branches. There was one tiny dead tree that was smushed by a big old maple, but that is every branch off that little tree. And then I got some little sticks here, and then I found a pretty really dead uh, pine with the uh, dead pine needles. And sometimes these are preferred because if you don't like your shelter, if the wrong ember catches uh, these, it'll just engulf in flames, you know? So you don't have to look at it anymore. But I'm just going to haggardly stick these around for tonight. I'm going to put, and since I don't have sidewalls, I'm just going to kind of put some of these on the sides here. Just for a tiny, tiny bit of protection. It's nothing crazy. And then we're going to fill gaps. Because, you know, if I was building a shelter, you know, to try to be quick for like a survival purpose, I would not be taking my time like this, with this thing. 
I'm trying to make this pretty and I'm trying to make this something I can come back to. This is not a survival shelter. This is more of like a long-term setup for me. Hopefully, we'll see how the how the snow is. How the snow goes. We'll decide how much I get to come back here. But like I said, I've been working on this thing for, let's see. It's five, the sun's setting. I feel like I started around 1.30. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe four hours, three and a half, three, three hours. I've been just cutting logs and moving, moving, moving. So I didn't have a ton of time. It took me some time to get out here. But it is what it is, I'm having fun. That's all that matters, I'm having fun. Building a shelter. I know she ain't pretty. But you could still take her to the ball and dance with her, you know? You know, she's a she's a date to the ball. She's she might not be the best date, but she's a date, okay? Alright, so I'm just gonna um kind of just even this out, clear out some stuff in here, get my sleeping stuff set up, give Monty a little spot to chill. And then we are going to cut up some firewood, prepare some firewood, get a fire going. Then we're going to relax, sip on a beer, and cook up some pork chops. That's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. And that sounds amazing right now. Let's see. I'm going to sleep on this side because if our heads are up here, Monty, I always sleep on my left side more. Yep. See, that's that's how we arrange our sleeping, is I have to sleep on my left side. That's pretty much how I sleep. I switch sides for a little bit, and I go back to my left side. So Monty's got to be whatever way my left side is facing, because I don't want to have to flip over. You know how much of a bother that is? Have to flip over 180? Oh, it's the worst. Shoot, we can even put our heads on that way. Shoot. Shoot, Monty. Shoot. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. Monty, Monty. Monty. Monty, it's getting cold. Monty, it's Let me just sit down for once. Oh yeah, feels good, Monty. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on, fuzzy bunny. Oh, come here. Give me that booty. Give me that booty. Oh, oh. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Oh. oh, Monty. You're so fluffy, Monty. You're so fluffy. Why so fluffy? Alright, so we're all set up. We've got our um you know half shelter for today um so it is time to chop up some of this wood and spark up a fire what do you say monty what do you say <laughs> he says i don't want to be crated like this anymore stop it stop it okay <gasps> all right fire one time <laughs> That is some very dense <laughs> wood. Right, Monty? Hoo wee! I think I'm gonna cut them a little bit longer now. Let's split some of this stuff up. Oh, yeah. Retry. 
retry. Ooh, that's some solid stuff right there. Oh yeah. It's so naughty. Let's try this. Well, yeah, I'm just not gonna split that one. I didn't think it would work. It's, I mean, look at that center. There is no punky. That is some dense, 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 densey, dense, dense wood. Let's just use, let's use this. This thing that wasn't gonna split anyways. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There you go, Matthew, you're learning. Look at me learn, guys, right in front of you. boy in here. Nice little base. Now we are still on the quest for a one strike fire steel startup. A one striker. Now someone had mentioned that it doesn't really work because there's the there's oxides on the uh, fire steel. But you know what? That's not going to stop me from trying. I'm going to get it. No practice runs, no bull crap. One strike of the fire set. I think it's possible. Get this birch bark fairy dust on there. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. Now this, let's just let's pick a nice. That looks like a good spot right there. This is the one. I can feel it. Here we go. One strike. Dang it! Oh, it's two, three, four. That was that was bad. We just we just went back in progress, real far. It's okay. It's okay. snuggle up here. I'll probably put him in his sleeping bag in a minute here. Just because. If he's just chilling away from the flame, might as well. I am going to throw on some layers. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to sit my butt down for just a second. Oh, <laughs> oh that feels nice. Monty, you should take a minute and sit down. I know you haven't, you've been on your feet all day. You haven't even had a moment to sit down and do anything. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna have uh, tonight. I'm having breaded pork chops, pan seared 
with some green beans and butter. Uh, this is pretty much the exact meal I had the first time I ever built a lean-to. And I knew I was going to be building a bigger lean-to and working hard, so I wanted something that's easy and delicious at the same time. But it's really easy prep. The green beans are, I'm just going to throw them in the pan, and pork chops, I just scoop some of the breading into the Ziploc and throw it in the pan with butter. Easy prep. And I'm going to cook a potato, and I'm going to do my best not to forget about it and let it burn to the flames <laughs> like last time. All right. Yeah, I'm just letting this, this burn down a little bit. I'm not going to burn a fire all night tonight. It's not going to be particularly cold. I don't got a fire reflector up anyways. The fire reflector is nice, though. It's nice to have. Even right now, I, you know, setting stuff like my water bottles. I'm going to set them near here. They're getting icy. But being able to set them in between the uh, fire reflector and the fire helps them heat up nice. Okay, but I need to put on some layers. I'm getting chilly. Ooh, look at that steam. All right, layers time. Oh, I love having all my layers on when you know you're not gonna move around much. Nice and toasty. Monty, you look nice and toasty. Oh, the fire's burning down. Okay, I think it is time to get cooking. The Monty is intrigued. Okay, we need our spices. These are just your crappy booties, Monty. We're gonna need a beer. That's gonna be essential. We're gonna need, ooh, I forgot about these. Little snack sticks. Monty, I think this is what you were turning your whole body for. We can eat one. We'll save the rest for tomorrow. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Two. Mmm. Okay. Alright. And because I'm bigger than you, I get an extra one. I'm bigger than you. Hey, those are some big spuds. Get that down on the fire here. I promise we're not going to forget about the potato today. It's not going to happen. There is 0% chance that a potato will be forgotten about. Got to get the, the great great to the ready. This great great is so great. Never fails until it does. But until then, it never does. Does that even make sense? I don't know. Ah. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Okay. Let's prepare some food. Okay. Let's just throw in. beans now I could cut off these ends here and stuff but you know what I don't care I'll eat it all I don't mind I'll just you know bite it off it's okay it's not gonna kill me it's just more uh, it's, you know these little stocks just more protein that's all it is all right get a nice chunk of butter in here go also gonna throw in a smidge of salt and pepper not too much salt not too little salt just the right amount of salt we gotta we get you know we gotta be careful too because mr. Monty is gonna eat these 
so I can't spice them up too crazy. Just, just a little light flavoring, light dusting of the salt and pepper. We're just going to throw this on the, get this on the fire, get this heated up, get these going. Our great grate's not doing so great. A couple of uh, pork chops. I'm not sure what kind these are. They were, uh, they're not butterfly chops. What are they? I don't know. New York style or something like that. I'm just going to take and dump some breading in here. And we're going to just attempt to shake them up like this. See how this works. Well, it works pretty good. It's a little bit wasteful on the, the breading, but it does the trick. I'm gonna just do a little extra. I think they're pretty coated, but just, just, just because I got it out here. Just because. Let's get this. Let's get this cooking on the fire here. I am pretty hungry right now. I'm not gonna lie. Put a chunk of frozen butter in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Matthew, you're gonna stay right there, Mister. Cause you're a good boy. some breaded pork chops to get these fried up. All right. It's a little bit hot, but hey, you know what? It's going to taste good. Oh, yeah. The smoke in my eyes, it hurts. Uh-oh, I think we're having stabilization issues. Why? But this grate is so good, it's not tipping. I don't understand. You know, I've had people tell me they get nervous when I'm cooking with this grate. And I just, I don't see why. It's just a, it's a great grate. Nothing wrong with it. You know? Nothing like turning your bushcraft video into a, a suspense thriller, you know? It's like, is it gonna fall on the fire? Is it gonna spill everything? <laughs> yeah. I do. I spill. I'm surprised I haven't dropped too much food in the fire lately. What is this? Is it starting to snow? Monty! You don't want to see this. There's good food. Oh, we can't, we can't have Monty's face be covered up. Alright, we're gonna need... These are... This fire is too hot. All right, let's flip these porky pork chops. Ooh, they're they're a little dark. That's okay. Hope they don't cook too fast on the outside. Either way, though, I'm gonna eat them no matter what. One of these is gonna have to be for Monty. These are cooking super fast. These are gonna have to go off to the side here. This potato is gonna take so long. I'm gonna forget about it, dang it.
take a peek here. Ooh, that's looking good. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm ready to see what the first pork chops are looking like. Oh, beautiful. Perfect done. Okay. Let's eat some of these and get some more on the fire here. Monty, you're getting half a pork chop now. We'll see how much more you get later. Oh, I just need a little... Mmm. Oh. Whoop. See, Monty? This is for you. It's hot. It's very hot on my fingers. Oh yeah, that that, that burns. Oh, I'm so hungry. See, I don't cook pork chops a lot, so these might be overdone. But I don't really care because they taste delicious. Oh, it's very hot. Monty. All right, give Monty some green beans here. All right, that's a Monty bowl. I'm gonna put mine in with my green beans and we're gonna get the next batch going. We're actually, I need, I need one more bite. I can't wait. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Get these in. Getting impatient, Monty. I need my pork chops now. These puppies on the fire, and then let's eat. What is this? Gloves. <laughs> oh, Monty. All right, stay there. No, no, no. You wait. You be a patient, good boy. Ten bucks says he stands. As soon as I give him the go ahead, he's up eating. He can't just sit like that but we'll see maybe he'll change my mind okay it's already tastes so good I'm so ready go ahead go ahead go ahead get it get it Monty I win 10 bucks you owe me 10 bucks mm. There we go. Yeah, just get it all over that sleeping bag, Monty. Oh yeah. This is so good right now. I was so hungry. I ate one little bite of cheese with Monty back there. But other than that, this morning, 
early. Mm. So. Mm. The shelter. I was seeing a little bit of snow come through. So I took the side thing, since there's no wind tonight, it's coming straight down. I put it up on top. There's still a little bit of snow coming through, but it's okay. It's not the best thing in the world, but uh, when Monty's got his blanket on and I've got my thick bag, we're so insulated that usually when I get snow on my bag on the outside, it doesn't wet, it doesn't get wet, it doesn't melt. Because it's very well insulated. This is so good. I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. Mm. Let's see what time we got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so early. That's a problem with winter time is it gets dark so early. If it were, you know, I oh man, I could have got so much more done if it was light longer. That sucks. I'm gonna sleep good, but I'm not, I'm not, even though I'm, you know, I'm tired, I'm just not ready for bed, it's just too early hard to go to bed at like 8 o'clock for me. You stop that. You stay back. You get out of here. We got a lot to do tomorrow, Monty. You sure do. Uh-oh. I might not have enough food here for my dinner to satisfy me fully. That'd be a tragedy for me and you, Monty, because I'm less likely to share with you and I'm really hungry still. Seeing as how he ate dog food and everything. I still got this potato. Haven't forgot about it yet. It's roasting. These ones don't need to cook as long, Monty. You know, he, he doesn't really need any more. But I'd probably be lying to you if I told him told you guys that he wasn't going to get any more. Probably be lying. Okay. We got a mess here, Monty. What, what the deal is? What the deal is? Yummy. Oh, I'm still hungry. Hungry. Ooh. When that fire's not ripping, it gets a little chilly. Monty, you don't seem to be cold at all. You seem to be in a pork trance. A pork trance. Yeah, we're getting a little snow. Definitely coming through the shelter here. She ain't perfect. She ain't perfect by any means. She is incomplete. It'll provide us with some protection though. We won't get, like, if you look at my bag right here, this right here, you're getting a lot more snow on it. I think uh, pretty soon here, probably, probably today, Right around today is the year marker for me bushcrafting. I first did that solo bushcraft camp in the rain and I just went out, used a tarp, built a raised bed. Um, the raised bed was awesome. My tarp held up like crap. <laughs> this thing is, uh, 
Yeah. It's just not done. I wish I would have got an earlier start today, but there's nothing I can do about that. I wish I would have got to, I wish I would have found the spot earlier. That would have helped. But if I had another hour, I could have got a lot more done. I could have got some sidewalls up. I could have got more stuff on top. That's okay. That's okay. I need to stop. I need to stop worrying about it. We're going to be fine. It's not like it's a snowstorm. It's just going to be light snow. Ah. My potato. Let's see. At least I still I haven't forgot about it yet. It's starting to get soft. I'm thinking that these are done. Oh. I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is probably done and my potato is gonna be close this thing has just been cooking in the coals we're just gonna scrape off the chart outside and we're gonna eat it I'm not gonna forget it's sitting right there it's staring at me I can't forget about it today all right we need to give mr. Monty some more pieces of pork some more what do you think do you want pork do you want pork do you want you want some pork you want some pork pork boop ah it's hot hot oh it's it's so hot Monty, you're not getting too much. Stop it. Stop asking for more. Stop it right now. I command you to stop asking. He asks in silence. Don't question me. <laughs> he asks me in silence. Spill my other beer? No, alright. I got two beers per night. I think I, <laughs> I almost spilled my first one. Monty, you don't get as much as me because you're smaller. He's got like almost a whole pork chop. And he's going to get more. Go ahead. 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 I don't know why I needed to say it like 10 times. Mm. Oh man, does it feel good to be out in the woods right now? This is a really nice forest. I really like this. Um, for those of you that watched my The Winter Camping in November one, you'll remember me saying that that forest had like no dead trees, which is healthy for the forest. Not as nice for bushcrafting and stuff like that. But uh, this forest, there is tons of dead stuff everywhere, so it's probably a less healthy forest, but it's better for bushcrafting. Way better, there is dead standing timber all over. If I wanted to use maples and hardwoods, oh man, I'd have a field day. I've just been trying to avoid them for the most part, just for weight. <clears throat> and it uh, takes a lot more to cut through them. And then me over here, I can't stop giving him pieces. Because he's too damn precious, right? Right, 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 right. Ah! Maybe if I do this. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.
Mmm. Mmm. It's oh. You want this? You want this? <laughs> Stay there. Little monster. Okay. Let's check out the potato. It's probably super hot. Let's uh... Yeah, let's take this. Alright. It's definitely done. Oh, it's overdone. <laughs> the smoke. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have, have watched my uh, bushcraft camp in the rain. The first bushcraft video I did. But <laughs> I just bit into the charred potato. Oh, man. Never again. I ate so much <laughs> just char. Oh, this is hot! Now I'm gonna peel it off. Oh, the, the inner potato is just so hot right now. It's like touching lava. I'm just gonna put it on all that pork grease. It's gonna taste so good. Alright, the rest of this is charred. There is not much potato there. <laughs> I lost a lot. I overcooked the potato. <laughs> I'll admit it right now. <laughs> Monty has disappeared into the woods in search of pork. More pork. He hasn't had enough. Okay. Well, there he is. Oh, he heard me scrape my dish. <laughs> mm. All right. Okay. Mmm. Got a little bit of pork chop grease in there. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Even though it's only a few bites of potato, it's delicious. That was just the right amount. Even though I lost a bit, that was a big potato. We'll get more of it during breakfast tomorrow. I'm satisfied. I'm not too full, you know, and I'm not, like, hungry. I'm, like, I'm at a good level. I'm at a good level right now. But I've got a whole bunch of mess. It's not too crazy. It's just these two pans. They're just going to sit off to the side. Everything else is just baggies and stuff i got to put away. But we're going to clean this up, clean all this mess up, tidy up under here, and get ready for bed. Come here. Come here. Good, lay down. I right, lay down. Good boy. Right, you. Did you taste the pork? Monty, he might be a little restless. He's still got the eye of the pork. I don't know why. I don't know why, Monty. Why? Okay. Okay. He might need me to crawl into my bag before he gets comfortable to know that we're for sure going to bed because it is early, like I said. Oh! Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna crawl under our little uh, 
meager lean to is what we're calling it right now a little meager lean to and uh, I'm gonna zip myself up and not come out until it is uh, light outside I may not sleep right away but I will just listen to the sound of still woods there's a little air a little wind over there <laughs> but I'm not burning any fire or anything so I'm gonna go to bed right now so I'll catch you guys in the morning good night everybody Hey, hey, Monty. Oh, Monty. Monty. <laughs> oh, Monty. Oh, you silly doggy. <laughs> Stay there, stay there, it's okay. Just relax there for a minute. We don't need to crawl out of our warm cocoon yet. <laughs> He's always disheveled looking in the morning. He does look so bad right now. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, you just wanna, oh. Get that bad breath out of my way. No. <laughs> I got more snow from this side over here. Let's see is there any on there's a little bit on me I woke up at one point and there was a decent amount on my sleeping bag on the on the one half oh I can't keep turning like that it's just, oh. but other than that it wasn't so bad uh, the starting of last night I was way too warm I always forget uh, how warm this sleeping bag is and I put <laughs> both my thermal layers on, I left them on, and then I used one sleeping bag liner, and I was just sweltering. I, I, sl I think I slept half the night, <clears throat> I took off the liner, and then I slept half the night with my sleeping bag open. Hey, Monty. How's my morning breath? <laughs> that bad, huh? Anyways. Brand new day. So we slept there pretty good. I definitely laid in my sleeping bag for at least an hour without being able to fall asleep right away. So let's get up. What do you say, Monty? You ready? You ready? You ready, big guy? Yo, you maddie butt. Oh, okay, let's do it. Let's get up. Come here. <laughs> oh. Every time he puts those on for the first time of the day, <clears throat> he looks funny. So um, I put the booties back on him because we're not gonna be running around too crazy, at least early on. So maybe they'll keep his feet a little bit warmer, keep some snow snowballs from Foreman. Hey Monty. So anyways, I'm gonna go collect a few sticks and a piece of birch bark and then we're gonna spark up a fire and get cooking some breakfast. Heaven to Betsy, Monty. Heaven to Betsy. Okie dokie. I doubt this will be the time that it just goes in one. We'll still try. I'm not thinking it is. I'm not feeling it right now. It could be. It could be. It could come out of nowhere. Ooh, I had a nice. I had a spark on the first one, but 
didn't get it. Took three. You want some bacon? We're gonna have some bacon eggs. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Better the camera was a little tilted a little bit there. All right. We're gonna have some bacon and eggs for breakfast. Let's get some stuff out here. Bacon's egg, bacon, eggs, and potatoes. I was gonna cook my bacon up over some sticks or something, but I think I'm just gonna cook it in the pan alongside the potatoes, and then cook my eggs in some of the leftover bacon grease. And, uh, okay. Okay, it says some pine needles in there that I didn't want. Hey, Monty, you maybe want some potatoes for breakfast? Oh, that's a thick spud. It's a thick, frosty spud. Ooh. Adding a good old chunk of butter here. There we go. Probably give Monty a little bit of potatoes here with his breakfast. So I won't season them too heavy. A little bit of pepper. And some salt. Not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. Okay, let's get cooking. Let's get out ye old great great. Guaranteed to never fail. Ooh, smoke. Okay. So it needs to come down a little bit. Ooh. Some bacon. I think we got a pound here. We're going for a heart attack. <laughs> oh, it'll it'll cook down. It'll look good. We'll just set that right there. Ready for a cup of tea. I brought two types. I brought a sleepy time tea, which I didn't use, and then I got some green tea. Now, normally I'm a coffee man, but uh, you know, I just felt like bringing out some tea. So 
but I'm definitely more of a coffee guy, but I do like tea. I do like a nice cup of tea. We're gonna go with a strong cup of tea this morning. We're gonna go two packs. We're gonna get crazy. Oh, we're gonna need more water. That wasn't enough. Nope, that's okay. We'll just add more. There's not a ton of snow yet. It's not, you know, deep winter yet where we get feet of snow. If all the snow would have stayed, it melted off a little bit, then we'd have some serious snow, but it definitely a bunch melted off. Now, we got some fresh snow last night a little bit. Definitely wintry looking out. This is how you dirty a pan right here. There we go, cup of tea. With a lot of schmutz. It's okay. These potatoes are almost done. I gave one a tester and they're pretty close. Mmm. Oh, it's got beautiful char on there. Monty doesn't like those booties at all. His dew clock came out again, I had to re-put it on already. They're definitely gonna be returned. But I just, ooh, I just don't know if they keep his paws warmer or not. Let's bake and put it in this, I'm just gonna put these in the pan here. It's pieces of bacon. I'm gonna dump out a little bit of this grease here. I don't want all this. Let's see if our eggs are frozen. Got some farm fresh eggs here. Hey, they're not frozen, look at that. Probably just gonna scramble them because my pan is a little, uh, A little rough looking. So we'll just scramble them. Monty's gonna get an egg as well. All right. Oh, Monty, yeah, you heard your name, huh? So let's give Monty some bacon here. Oh yeah, there you go, Monty. You want some bacon, pal? All right, that's enough bacon for Monty. You're gonna get eggs too, buddy. That's breakfast had to get dog food. We're taking our time. <laughs> Go ahead, Monty. Oh. Mm. Mm. Bacon is so good. Oh yeah, green tea's not so bad.
these eggs help clean the pan. All the bacon chunks stuck to it. You ready for round two? Round two of Montu. Stay there, Monty. Get back. Get back. Back up. Back up. I don't. I don't want your nose getting in. All right, that's plenty for you. Let's put my eggs in there. All right, we need to get some water in here. Clean that up a little bit. Monty, we need a little too. Stay. I had to put a little snow in his so he could eat him right away. Uh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead, eat your snowy eggs. All right. Mmm. There we go. It's a beautiful campfire breakfast. Got a, got a full course breakfast right there. See, he, he tries to be like me in this regard. When I go camping with Funk, sometimes we'll share a meal, and usually it's, if I, oh, spitting food out, sorry. I can usually eat food hotter than she can, so I'll eat more faster, <laughs> and I'll get a bigger portion. It's the food monster in me, and now it's infected him, so he thinks he can just eat fast, and he'll get more, which, is usually true because I ended up I end up giving him scraps. You little turd, he's just so persistent with his eyes. No, no. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up breakfast here. Tidy up just a hair. I got his blanket cover in our sleeping bags. And then we are gonna get right into it. I, uh, we'll definitely have an earlier start than yesterday. It's, uh, it's almost noon already. I slept in pretty good. I slept until like 10. So I stayed in that sleeping bag for over 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm entitled to sleep in when I want to so yeah we'll get right into it we got to chop up a bunch of trees bring some back probably got to get at least as much as we did yesterday I've still got a bunch of pieces but the thing is there's not a ton of long straight pieces which is what I used up here but that'll be great for the fire reflector and some of the side stuff so and I got stuff for stakes for the fire reflector and whatnot so we should be able to do pretty good, but we're going to start by getting a bunch more dead straight stuff, bring it back, and then we'll start chopping it up, just like yesterday. But we should, we'll have an, at least an extra hour, hour and a half today, which is good. Over here. Over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, stay. Stay there. Stay there, Monty. I was eyeballing this one yesterday. Oh, so close, man. I was getting stuck in that thing. No, Monty. Come back here. Come back here. Here. Here, Monty. That'd just be the best way to end everything, is just have him run around and get him smushed by a tree. All right. Yo, Monty. You stay. Hey, stay!
Yeah, it was a long one. It was wedged up in this tree right here. It's caught in the top. All right, I'm just gonna pull it forward, get it down. We're gonna saw it up in the sections. Oh, this is a good. This is a good tree right here. It's a good take. It's got at least three, four pieces on it. Nice and solid. Let's get this baby back to camp. Whew. Okay. So now I'm going to just go out and round up a whole bunch more. I'm not going to do a ton of recording. We're just going to be grabbing a bunch of stuff like that, knocking stuff down. If I have to ask, Monty, stop eating. Monty, you little porcupine. He's a porcupine. That's not like the little critter with quills. That's like a, a chubby rough collie is what that is. a porcupine. That's just food crazy. All right, we're going to go get some more stuff. I had to shed a few layers and change my hat because I was getting too warm. Probably going to have to take off. Uh, another thermal layer as I get moving more. But we're gonna round a bunch of logs, then we're gonna get messed around with this. Let's do it, Monty. Come on. Hey Monty, how's it going? Oh. 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 Okie dokie. Oh, it's getting blue skies and sunny out. Keeps going cloudy and then sunny. Monty here is, uh, he's been running around with me for the most part, collecting them, and then I made a big old pile and just dragged them all back here. But, we've got a lot of logs. A lot of logs. This should be enough to finish this thing up here, hopefully. If anything, I'll just need a few more. There should, there's definitely enough to make a nice fire reflector and hopefully get the sidewalls up and put another couple long pieces on the side. I'll probably put one more log on each side. So. Let's take a breather and a water break. Whew. Let me tell you, winter bushcraft camp building some work. Oh, 
So, what do we got for time here? It's almost 1.30. So that means we've got three and a half hours of good daylight until it starts to get dark. This is about when I arrived at camp yesterday, so we're in good shape. We're in good shape to get this thing finished up nice and pretty. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna measure these logs, get about five high on each side, so it's about right here, that'd be good. Oh, Monty. Yeah, we'll get about five high on each side, add another log up here, clean everything up, then I'm gonna pull off all this pine and stuff, and what we're gonna do is I'm actually just, it's. If the ground's not too frozen yet, so I can get to the duft and the, the leaves and stuff underneath. So what I'm going to do is scrape off all that pine needle. I'm going to use little bits of pine to fill the big gaps. And then we're going to take duft and snow and stuff. And we're just going to make it completely covered. And uh, maybe I'll put some in the sides too and it'll be a nice uh, covered thing. So we'll get this thing nice and pretty. Um, and I'm going to need to level out the ground, so I'm going to pull everything out here. Once we get the logs all chopped up and set up, I'm going to pull everything out, make Monty a nice comfortable spot over there, then we're going to finalize this thing because I do want to return here. Like I've said, I'd really like to come back here. And I also am going to try to find a nice maple branch to stick right here, make a support beam. So, let's measure up some logs and get to work. do the trick. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually now is I'm going to go find this pole before I start messing around with this too much. I'm going to go get a we're going to go take a nice maple. They're everywhere around here, so it won't be too hard to find one, but I'm going to get a nice straight section. I'm going to put a little small shallow V in the top. We'll chip at it a little bit just so it stays, and we'll pound it up here, make it so this is nice and sturdy. Monty. Ah, uh, you stay there. Oh, yeah. This will do nice right here. That's a good section. It's tall. Well, let's just uh, set this down over here under the camera. Take this bad boy down. A little punky down there. I need two hands for this here. I'd like it to fall this way because it won't get stuck by much, but we'll see. Perfect. There we go. Now I'm just going to 
get off my saw and cut off this bottom section. And the rest of it is gonna be all the firewood we will ever need tonight, even though I have so much firewood up there, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. Much longer than I need. Okay. So we're gonna measure this thing up here. I'm gonna first flatten out the bottom by cutting off the bottom piece, and then we're gonna dig down into the ground a little bit, just a just a little hole, just so that when I put the weight on here, it doesn't smush into the ground too much. So I wanna dig down a bit, and then we're gonna chop or cut a little V in the top so it kinda of just rests on this log pretty nice. Pretty good. hole go out long ways same depth as back there so that it's to the right depth here now we're gonna try to make it so it pushes it up just a hair don't want to go too shallow and mess up the log here but I'm also gonna make a shallow V so I'm gonna come in at the side so I'll try to dig it down to the shape of the log. So we'll start a little high here. Like that. All right, let's cut this up, see what happens. Now I've never made one of these before, so I'm not sure if you need to do the little shallow V, it just makes sense to me. I'm not sure if you just leave it flat for the most part, but we'll see. We're experimenting. Okay, I'm just gonna take my ax here and we're gonna attempt to chop a shallow V here. Oh, that, that, there we go. That's exactly what you want. Hmm, you know what, we're just gonna saw it instead. I would have surely screwed it up if I kept axing. See, as you can see, I got a little little V. It's more like a, a U or a shallow dip, but it should hold the, on the log a little bit better. So let's stick her up there and see where we're at. Now I'm gonna, we're gonna make Monty a nice warm spot over there. I'm gonna start 
I'm gonna probably put some duct right now. We'll, we'll fill in some of the gaps. Uh, just the stuff in the center that's gonna be harder to reach when it's all set up. But uh, we'll do that, we'll set up the poles, and then we'll get setting up the sign. So Monty, come on, let's go. Come on, up, up, let's go, over here, come on, come on, let's go, we gotta go, we gotta get out of here. I need to pull all this stuff out so I don't make a mess on all of it. Ugh. Oh yeah, it's looking better. Definitely flatter than it was. Still a little bit right here. Monty was just snuggling me hard. It's not that I don't mind him snuggling me, it's just that when he sleeps right next to me, it's hard for me to roll around and not make him upset. Let's start by just taking this all off and making a pile. We'll do it a lot nicer. We're gonna we're gonna redo, redo here. Get a little bit of a redo. Okay. I'm gonna first start by going over big gaps like this one here and I'm just going to kind of wedge some of this stuff here so that when I put the duft on top just the major gaps nothing nothing crazy small or anything just major ones so when I start putting that stuff on top it doesn't just fall through really easily and the wind blowing doesn't knock it through there's not too many big gaps I got pretty good logs here but there's you know there's gaps Okay, now I'm gonna start just taking this stuff and packing it in all the gaps. And we're gonna seal all the holes. Need dirt. I've never done this before. This is my first time putting this sort of stuff on here. I've always come out when it's like really frozen and this doesn't really work as good but I can, I can get it pretty easily right now. Let's see, can I reach? Yeah, I can reach pretty easy. All right, we're gonna put up the other two logs quick. So I got some big ones to add to here. That'll uh, widens it a good bit. Just two bigger logs. There we go. Okay. Let me get the center here first. Okay, looks pretty good. There we go. Okay, as you can see, you can't see through. There's no gaps. There might be a small one here or there, but there's no way snow's getting through there. I've got it all sealed up. This is the first time I've done it with this duft. It actually went way better than the pine needles as far as speed goes, because it's all right here. I don't gotta move around. Now, I like the pine needles. Definitely looks pretty. <laughs> 
but they work good if you have tons of them and if you have a big dead tree right nearby or if you're doing it quick like last night I guess I could have done this last night but I just wasn't I've never tried it before so this is my first time but this works really well and is perfectly sealed but I did not want to put this on here without the support beam because this adds a lot of weight and now any snow that happens is going to pile up on here and it's going to add to the protection and the insulation of the shelter but it's going to put a lot more weight on that pole so now we got to work on sidewalls had my one from yesterday but that wasn't it's not quite thick enough I want them all the same width so they stack really well so I'm gonna redo it this will be the first one here we'll have it come to right here that should be good right there okay let's saw it off and then we're gonna try to get five on each side <laughs> Okay, there we go. I got five for each side. Um, this side's gonna have a little bit thicker ones. I want them to kind of stay the same uh, width so that when you're stacking them, they don't do the thing where your sticks, you know, your gap, the, the stakes that hold them, if you have a big log and then a small log, it rolls off to one side, then your next log goes up and goes to the other side. So you wanna keep them relatively the same length, so that's why, since the wind's coming from this way, I'm gonna put all the thick logs on this side, but now we're gonna knock off all the pokies then we're going to craft up some stakes and get these things set up. Okay, it's coming together. It's coming together. Those are all done. Now I just need some stakes. And we're gonna tie these in here. Oh. This one's laying down. Right there. there perfect and this one will go right here well that's cool I wasn't recording the whole time that's good to know I love when I do that so I'm basically just making stakes I've already got like four of them done this one's already got a split so I don't really need to do much. I'm just chopping and kind of making a point on one end. This is one of the big, I got two long ones, four shorter ones. I only need the two long ones for the insides of the front part. This one I'm actually just gonna cut off this part here. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna, I'm doing a slight taper on this side, just uh, barely at all, just so it helps prevent um, splitting. So I'm just gonna do this on the last one here, and then let's start pounding them in. Here we go. Now I'm doing the top one, the, this one on the inside is gonna be angled slightly just so that when I do the next stake, um, as the logs get long, uh, they'll get shorter as they go in, and I wanna make sure to tie it to this, and I didn't quite make them long enough to go under here, so I have to be able to tie it to here, 
and uh, slip them in between. So they're kind of slight angle. Stack them up, see how it looks. There we go. Then I'll just take a rope tire there. That would be good. This side. do is uh, instead of uh, this stake is just going to hold them here I'm going to take and tie this top one to the this here because this stake is kind of it's a little bent out not not working so well There we go. Now I'm just gonna tie it down, and uh, this part's done. Just gonna actually take a few logs and just stuff them in between here. That'll do the, that'll keep it there just fine. That'll just, as long as it keeps it pressed up, the stake is keeping it all pressed. So you can see it's not going anywhere now. Okay, that's it for this. Um, I might, you know, scoop some stuff up and put it underneath there, but for the most part, it's good to go. If I want to get crazy elaborate, I'll uh, you know fill those gaps on the sides. But for now, I am content with that. And we need to get Monty back into his cozy den because he's just sitting out here like a just a you know like a nobody, like a slave dog. He needs to be in his coziness. All right, Monty, let's do this. Wait, wait, Monty, wait, wait, wait. Go ahead, go ahead, lay down. Go ahead. Good boy. Lay down. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's cozy under here. That's a good boy. Okay, here she is for right now. We still, we still got to make a fire reflector, and I would like to hang a few uh, pieces of stuff if I can, if I can find a spot to do do so to block from some snow. But for the most part, it's solid. It's a solid little cozy den. No snow's getting through there on the backside, and we got some wind protection from the sides. Whew. What do you think, Monty? It's a good boy. Just stick that in the ground like that. I'm just kind of wedging this into the ground here, like so. And I'm basically just doing this to add a very, very slight add of protection. It's not going to do a whole lot, but it's better than nothing, you know. I'm just kind of setting things here. 
And I don't need to do it to the other side. I'm pretty much just doing it to this side here. I'm just kind of pound things on. It's just for snow. Snow falling through. I want it to catch on here first. Okay, that's pretty good. Now let's build the fire reflector quick. And uh, yeah, let's do that. All right. Just gonna craft up four more stakes here quick. That's the wrong end. This is what happens when you don't uh, taper it and it's punky. It just destroys. <laughs> Uh-oh. Out of place. Out of place. There it goes. Beautiful. Let's tie her off. Okay, there it is. So you can see the smoke. It's it, it was blowing more this way. See how it's blowing to the left there. So I will only have to really worry about snow coming from over here. But there's I got a lot of straight logs and I got off all the pokies. So they're probably called knobs or something, but I call them pokies. So yeah, that's that's a wrap on this shelter here. But there's not many gaps in between the logs and stuff. Even the fire reflector is substantially better than normal. Could have gone with a little bit longer logs. And it probably needs to be closer. Um, it's not as cold as I thought it was going to be today anyways. So um, I don't know if I'll keep a fire going all night or not. We'll see. But we've got 45 minutes till the sun sets. Another good day. I took it a lot easier today than I did yesterday. Yesterday I worked a lot, you know, harder hiking and everything. But I had fun. This is a lot of fun. This is a nice little, nice little camp. I'd say this is my best one yet. My best uh, little shelter. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get the fire going, tidy up, and we will probably get into cutting some firewood and getting ready to make some dinner. Hey Monty! So what I'm making for dinner today is some homemade chicken noodle soup. I'm gonna take some uh, chicken drumsticks, I'm gonna boil them in, or simmer them in some water till the meat falls off and the skin pretty much dissolves and we'll make some homemade soup. It's gonna be delicious and I brought some noodles and I'd like to make some bannock to go with it. Monty you stay over here. He keeps creeping over to the bacon grease He's trying. Monty, no. No, no, no. No, no, yeah, you go lay down. He's like, Dad, I really want that bacon grease. It tastes so good. 
but and then Monty is gonna have some uh, sweet potato and venison so we're gonna both be eating good tonight so I guess we'll cut up some firewood and then we'll just relax by a hot fire for a while and start simmering up the chicken so let's get some firewood prepared and then start cooking it. I'm gonna let it simmer for a good hour at least till that meat is just falling off that bone and it's dissolved. And then we'll add in the other goodies and cook it up for like another half hour. He's so weird sometimes. Half the time he wants to sit on the sleeping pad and then the other half of the time he wants to go lay in the snow. But this fire is really hot and I felt him, he is pretty warm sitting by it. It's a hot fire, it's been going all day. I haven't been putting wood on it all day but Anywho, let's get firewood prepared. Step away from that fire, it gets a little nipply. Oh. <laughs> oh. As many of you guys know, I have uh, psoriasis on my knees, so this constant kneeling on frozen ground and stuff, it gets a little raw. It doesn't feel the best a few days after, after this. Solid, Monty. It's solid. Where am I going to chop this up? Probably right here. Probably. Monty, bring me that stick. Bring me that stick, Monty. Bring it here. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here, Monty. Oh, bring it here, Monty. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Monty. Who's here? Who's here, Monty? Who's here? Who's here, Monty? Who's here? Who's here, Monty? Who's here? Who's here? There, there's nobody here, Monty. There's nobody. <laughs> So at some point here, I was taking evening pictures and I somehow unplugged the microphone in my camera and there's no audio for the next four hours. So I'm just gonna give you a little voiceover and tell you what was going on. Here I am once again, splitting some firewood. Uh, wasn't going so good. My battery kept dying and I finally got a shot of me splitting some firewood and I was super happy. Too bad there's no audio. I'm setting down all my chopped split firewood next to the seat in the fire so I don't have to move much. I can be a little lazy. Here's me blabbing away to the camera. Have no idea what I'm saying if it's important enough, but Monty sure is paying attention to what I'm saying. Uh, this is uh, me boiling up some snow or melting some snow because we were running low on water and I needed some to cook with. Here's me running around with Monty, carrying him, making airplane noises, completely embarrassing him. Yeah, he wasn't too thrilled about that.
Monty bouncing like a frosty little bunny has decided to warm him up by throwing the stick for him. And he decided not to fetch it because probably because I carried him around making airplane noises. Just tended my little fire. Had to get out the old great grate, stablest grate in all the lands. Never fails. Wanted to make sure it's extra stable though because I don't want that soup spilling into that fire. That'd be a double whammy. Finally got enough snow melted. I don't know if you've ever melted snow, but it takes a while. And uh, there was definitely some schmutz in there. Adding in that juicy raw chicken to that water. Oh, that is just so appetizing. Mmm. Setting her on the fire, getting her cooking. Here I am cracking a beer, blabbing again. Monty's just relaxing in his nice cozy little den and licking some snow out of his paws. Just checking out my pot of boiling raw chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Scooted Monty a little bit closer and put the blanket over the sleeping pad so it didn't burn holes in it. Checking on that chicken once again. It, the meat was starting to fall off the bone. And it was it was starting to actually smell a little decent. Cut up some sweet potatoes for Monty to throw in his little pan. Put some snow in there because we didn't have a ton of water right now. Also threw in a whole brick of r raw ground venison, which was way too much, by the way. Started dicing up one half of a large white onion for my chicken noodle soup. Diced up one large carrot. And a, two stalks of celery. Look how frosty it is. Frost is just breaking off of there. There's my boiling chicken just about ready. Throwing in all these delicious ingredients. Now it's got to simmer for about a half hour. Something in there. I don't even think it actually had to simmer that long. But... It was it was looking pretty good. I was definitely starting to get really excited to eat at this point. Now I had to start adding some extra flavor in there. I threw in two bullion cubes. Because I had about two cups of water in there with all the other stuff. Then some fresh parsley which was frozen and looked just like mouse turds maybe not mouse turds something else a little bit of pepper and I stirred it without adding the salt because I completely forgot about it till I watched this footage and here's me attempting to make some bannock so I was thinking I'll put it in the pan this time and add water and just do it right in the pan and I decided that this big stick was going to work and I just started mangling it and it just was just not working out very well. I think Monty was pretty embarrassed with me just mashing this bannock just terribly and wouldn't even look at me just mangling it. Thought it'd be a good idea just to cook it right in the pan just press it into the bottom and maybe sneak some butter under it. The soup's looking good on the other hand it was starting to smell amazing and I was just going nuts. Decided to go for a little taste tester and everything was pretty much cooked and it was delicious. I just threw in the noodles here in the pot and then I was going to put the lid off to the side and just since the the soup was so hot it would just cook the noodles by the time everything else was ready. Throw the bannock on there to start the burning process. Put a little chunk of butter on the side and try to put it underneath. So when I tried to flip it, it uh, just kind of slopped everywhere and yeah. It wasn't looking so appetizing. The soup was delicious looking and I was just ready to devour. The meat was falling off the bones, took the bones out. I was ready to just inhale this whole bowl of goodness. I was thinking the bannock didn't burn too bad, but then I flipped it and I burnt the crap out of it. But hey, this is my first time cooking bannock in a pan like this. You know what? 
I was ready to eat and I didn't care. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I just did a pretty big fail. <laughs> Oh no! I just was trying to do a zoom up of Monty's face and I realized that it wasn't picking up audio and I was like, what the heck? And the mic was just slightly unplugged. I must have done it when I changed batteries. I don't even know how long it's been like that. It's gotta be... I checked a few clips back and they all didn't have audio, so... It's a ways back. And you know what? That sucks. That really sucks. So I think the whole cooking process, all that, it's not going to have any audio. I don't really know. So what I'm going to do is because you can't just watch a video for like 20 minutes of just no audio. I'm going to have to uh, kind of make it go kind of quick. And I'm going to do a voiceover. I'm going to do a voiceover. That is what we will do. Our, our ba oops, oops, oops. Our bag's looking pretty dumb. I don't know how many times I've said that this soup tastes good. Oh, this tastes so good too. Everything is complete. It is time to eat. At least I caught it before we ate dinner. This might be a little gooey in the center, but I won't mind. Get this off of here. It's here. I can't believe that though. I don't know how I unplugged the mic. I wasn't messing around with the mic. Oh well. Oh well, Monty. That's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Get some wood on this fire. But this soup. Oh, let's just really quickly before we get it all together. Let's get a little close up of, of dinner. You've got Mr. Monty Phelps, sweet potatoes with venison, the slightly burnt buttery bannock, and the delicious chicken noodle soup. Let's just, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mmm. Okay, it's time to eat. Okay, let's get Monty's, he needs a little dog food in there. Yeah, Monty, this is for you. Not too much dog food, because he's got a lot of food here. Okay. Oh, la, 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 Oh, we've got sound. We've got sound. We've got audio. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a... Uh, full bowl of sweet potatoes and venison for Mr. Monty. That's a dangerous thing. Oh, oh, we can't forget any scraps of venison. He'll be upset. Okay. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a full bowl. Can you see it piling over the edges? That's a little too much for Monty. It's not hot, it's nice and warm. Get these extra scraps. Okay, Monty, stay there. Stay there. Where's my spoon? Oh, my soup is done. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this. You ready, Monty? You ready? Actually, you know, wait, 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 wait. I just had to finish off my beer quick. <clears throat> go ahead, go ahead. All right, let's taste this chicken noodle soup. Ooh, we got a little bone. Oop, I'm probably gonna have one more of those that I missed. A teeny little bone. Mmm. 
Oh, yeah. Hmm. This is so good. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's just because it's over a fire or what, but it is some of the best chicken noodle soup I've ever had. Oh, and the bannock. <laughs> it's not gooey in the center. Ooh, it's nice and soft. Oh, let's just dip this in here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to even get close to finishing this. There's so much here. Lay down. Come here, twirl. 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 All right, lay down. Lay down. There you go. Go ahead. You little turd nugget. Oh, oh man. I might be able to finish this off. I've done some damage to this bowl. And there is fight left in the stomach. There is fight left in here, Monty. I'm taking one out of your book today. Just keep eating. Just keep eating. Mm. Mm. There's a bone. I ate every scrap, every drop of soup in that container. That was good. I did not eat all my bannock. I ate maybe two thirds of that bannock. That stuff is so much more filling than the soup is. That bannock is just straight to your gut. I can eat another little chunk. Oh, that was so good. Mm. There you go, Monty. That was worth the wait. That was good. Now the bannock, when it's got that, those burnt spots, you can really taste those. So I'd like to do it and not burn it one time. But that soup was so on point. It was a little frustrating that I uh, lost the audio. That could be even before... Man. That could be when it was still light out I did that. Who knows how far that went back. Ugh. We'll see. Only time will tell. That's the one thing that's rough about recording out in the woods. Like when I missed the little baby moose swimming in front of me, there is no going back. There is absolutely no going back. But anywho, I'm stuffed. What about you, Monty? Monty's, he, I don't even think he ate. Did you eat, Monty? Because you seem like you didn't eat today. Even though I fed you three times. He ate three fat meals today. This little porcupine. So we are going to get ready for bed. I'm going to clean up, tidy up, get ready to crawl in my sleeping bag and go to bed because I'm full. It is 940. 
It was nine, yeah, it was nine thirty-eight when I last checked. It's actually nine forty right now. So I think by the time I'm ready for bed, it's gonna be ten o'clock, just like we were hoping for. So let's get to it, Monty. Let's get ready for bed. Good job. Good job, Monty. Oh, look at you. That was pretty much perfect. Let me just scoot your booty. All right, let's tuck you in, Monty. Oh, it's okay. Keep your face out here so you can see a little bit before it gets too dark for the evening. So I was just, uh, I had to know when I stopped recording audio. So I went back and checked my camera and it was a little far back. <laughs> Um, it was right when it got dark So there's about four hours of no audio, so that'll be fun That's you know the best way to make a quality video is to just make sure there's no audio <laughs> So we'll see how I tackle that I'm not sure I've never I had the one time where Ruger knocked my camera into the water and it was you know for maybe 20 minutes this is four hours of no audio. So we'll see what happens. Little, little disappointed, needless to say. But what can you do? What can you do? What can you do, Monty? We can just snuggle you up and make you happy. How about that? How about that? There we go. We've got a snuggly Monty. Oh no, you're you're gonna Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna settle in. I don't care what you think you're doing, mister. He might think he's going to be wrestling around, but he's not. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That was a delicious dinner. The uh, food prep got a little mucked with the audio thing, but we'll survive. We'll make it past it. There will be more videos. All right, Monty? So, I'm going to pass out and get up when it's light out. So, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good morning. Monty's uh, ready to get up. <laughs> I think he's got a poop. He woke me up panting. He's ready to get out. I think he ate too much. Uh, <laughs> venison and sweet potatoes. Oh yeah, he was, he was, uh, holding in a turd. <laughs> He's just like, Dad, I gotta poop. Dad, I gotta poop. Let me out of here. Oh. It's a cold one this morning. <sighs> you like it upside down? Is that fine upside down? Oh. I slept okay last night. I didn't sleep the best. A lot of tossing and turning last night. Lots of it. I don't think it snowed at all. Well, if it did, it didn't get on either of us. Ooh, it's chilly. Yeah, if I come back out here, 
I should probably build this wall all the way up or a lot higher to up there, maybe another five logs on each side. Then it'd be really protected in here. Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, not gonna dilly dally too much today. <coughs> Gotta get back to civilization. Okay, I am gonna. I'm gonna put on my layers and get out of my sleeping bag here. My warm little cozy den. It's always the hardest part of any day. Crawling out of this warm, cozy. Sleep back over to this coldness. Put on all my cold stuff. Anyways, let's get up. Let's do it. Oh, Monty. Monty, I got mama. I got mama. Oh, it's a crisp, brisk morning. Woo. Monty, actually, we gotta do a butt check. Come here. Come here. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there, let me see. Let me see. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Monty, you got a dirty butt. <laughs> oh no. Great. Now I've got to clean that off before we get in the truck. Monty, stop scavenging. You, you ate yourself to the poops. Dang it, he got one too many treats yesterday. <laughs> too much venison and sweet potatoes. See, we're learning. He can't have, you know, bacon and eggs for breakfast. <laughs> venison and sweet potatoes for dinner. Sausage and cheese mixture for lunch. Oh, that was too much. We overdid it, Monty. I spoiled you too much, okay? He doesn't think so, but he doesn't know any better. Stop, stop it. Stop it! You already got the poops. What the heck? Stop searching for treats. Stop searching for treats. Stop searching for treats. Stop it! You want the stick? Come here. Come here. Okay, well. There's only one thing left to do now. We gotta tear this thing down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not this time. Uh uh. I wanna come back here. I'm not tearing it down yet. It looks. It's pretty solid. Yeah, that definitely makes it nice. It makes you be able to relax. That, that pole is pretty sturdy, too. I've used it for support a couple times so anyways the sun's peeking up looks like it's gonna be a nice cold bright sunny day Monty finally brought me the stick I'm just gonna throw it for him a few more times and then we're gonna get packing up and get heading back to the car no breakfast no coffee I'll probably get coffee at a gas station on the way home so anywho what do you say, Monty? Let's start getting packed up. Okay. All right, okay. All right, okay. Yeah. Oh, that was... <laughs> All right, let's do this. That's the way. That's the way. Oh, 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 oh. I like it. Oh, 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 oh. That's the way. I like it. Bags half full.
those two bags right there take up so much dang room. That it, Monty? Take off a couple layers, get brisk for a minute in anticipation of the hiking sweats. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. hi, Monty. Are you a good boy? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this sure is lighter. Alrighty, well, that was a nice couple days building this shelter. I definitely needed the protection more on the first day, but you know, it is what it is. I didn't quite get as far as I wanted to the first day, but it got done and I'm hoping that the snow doesn't pile on too high and I can return here. So, we will be heading back to the car now and I'm gonna edit myself up a video for you guys. What do you think, Monty, should we get going? So as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys at the next video. Come on, Monty, let's go. Monty, want a treat? Monty, want a treat? Monty, want a treat? Monty, want a treat? <laughs> Monty, are you paralyzed? Monty, what's wrong? Monty, what are you doing? Monty, help me! Monty, help me! Monty! 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 Ah! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Man, I did not think you were going to move.